So I'd like to introduce you to Sharpshooter 5. Now, this guy's name is a little ironic because, as we all know, most people who claim they're sharpshooters are probably cheaters in this game. But as you can see by his record, he abuses the heck out of his cheats. <laughs> Specifically the Horo. Um, he obviously has some higher tier stuff, but he mostly just has low tier. He's probably played a couple other high tiers as well. But his first shot of the game will prove to you that this guy is just not what he seems. He's not a very good sharpshooter because he has to rely on a cheater scope to even shoot at people. But it's another one of those guys that you've encountered that are blatant arty cheaters, uh, is what I've been calling them, um, where their program just gives them exact ranges for a gun that has a really low velocity. So they're able to do this stuff really blatantly and not have to deal with um, all the problems of having to deal with a tank like this. So I mean, it's, I, I, it's it's one of the things where, oh, how do you find this game fun? <laughs> These guys don't find it fun. They find it fun to do this and just blatantly be annoying to other people. Uh, it's not really surprising to me anymore that I'm finding so many of these guys because when you have so many low-tier vehicles like this or meme vehicles like the AVRE and this thing, it doesn't surprise me that you find so many people cheating with these vehicles. And it just obviously makes the life miserable for people because this is like 3.0, like low tier stuff. This is making it miserable for anyone to fight against. And the funny thing about these guys is that they're using a vehicle with HE. So any tree they hit is going to block their shell. And on maps like this, where it's really obvious that they're cheating, they're going to hit a bunch of trees. But unfortunately, they're still going to kill people because they're cheating and they, that's all they can do. And... It doesn't surprise me at this point anymore of how much these guys cheat because, you know, I'm not, I'm used to it at this point. This is like video 70 for me, at least, the way the recordings are and some of the videos I've put up as obvious ones and some I actually don't put up because the guy gets banned basically like within a day of me, uh, within like a day of me looking at it. So... It's good that they're getting caught, but they're not getting caught quick enough by any means. This guy has gotten 500-ish kills by cheating because, you know, he doesn't know how to play the game correctly. Or he's been doing this since the conception of his account, and he just doesn't care. So, it, it's it, funny to me that Gaijin doesn't care about their game. They care about, obviously, the SU-25 being overpowered as fuck. They care about the imbalance of the game being completely terrible. They care about the new Finland tree being completely fucking terrible and not unique at all and just adding more vehicles to Sweden, which, to be honest, I'm fine with them adding more vehicles to Sweden. I don't mind subtrees, but add unique stuff. Don't just add copy-paste crap that doesn't freaking matter. It's not fun to have a game like this where everything is copy-paste. There are so many... Un I understand there's export vehicles. I understand that that's how the game works. I understand that's how life works. I understand that other nations sell to other nations. But make it unique. <laughs> there's probably plenty of unique Sweden vehicles they could uh, they could bring out that they could offer. And I don't... And, like, there's plenty of Swedish vehicles they have not used yet. And he blows up a tree. <laughs> this guy is so bad. I love how bad this is. Um... But, but like I said, there's so many unique vehicles they could bring out, and yet they don't. Um, I'm just, I'm not surprised by the fact that the patch just, I mean, I'm not surprised by my general lack of my general burnout because the game just feels stale. Um, they release drones and don't balance them and then just move on to the next patch because they don't know how to play the game, or they don't know how to play their own game. It's the general frustration of the, of the loop of this game. I love playing it. I love having fun with it. I even play a lot of low-tier stuff with friends. I play... I might go play, like, 3-0 America with a friend of mine soon because it just is, seems fun. But if I'm going to run into these guys at 3-0, I'm not surprised anymore. <laughs> these guys are just... It, it sucks because they don't deserve this game. The, this is this needs to be caught immediately and reported on immediately, but it, they just it's just never caught, and I don't understand why 
it takes so long for these guys to go. I, I have guys that I've reported on months ago, even with thousands of views on the video, and they're still not gone. And I guarantee this guy, these guys have plenty of reports. But it, it seems to me like we're getting people that are just deliberately not being flagged. I don't know if it's like friend of a dev. I mean, we get, okay, tinfoil hat theory. Friend of a dev or friend of somebody who just doesn't care. Um, the security team just doesn't flag people because they don't think it's legit. Or they look at one replay, not the replay I reported. And then the problem is because old replays don't work, you get this crap where replays don't work. Oh, well, we can't view the old replay because we update our game so freaking often. So I think that's what is occurring. I think because they can't view their own replays because of updates, they refuse to acknowledge the fact that the game is just like it works properly. And I'm not really going to argue with it because it's their game, but in the same sense, if they're not going to freaking monitor their game, what's the point of using EAC if you're not going to monitor it? EAC actually still needs back checks because EAC falsely bans people. And I was got a comment recently about people being falsely banned. I looked at their account and they were only playing arcade. I understand people getting banned in arcade because arcade you can actually turn off EAC and the game freaks out when you turn off EAC. Like I know in arcade and I know in, it doesn't play you play in realistic, but I know in arcade even if you turn it off and are playing like completely legitimate if you have it off, the game doesn't like that. It'll actually think you're cheating because it thinks you're bypassing the cheat you're, uh, or what the cheat you're using. So that's the biggest issue here. So in that regard, I will implore people to please look at these guys and do what you know you need to do to make sure they leave our game. I'm not going to tell you specifically what to do because that's your responsibility, not mine. I still do what I need. I still I I still do what I do to make sure these guys are gone. But I'd appreciate it if you would help me out. As always, I hope you have a good rest of your morning, evening, day, or night, or wherever you are in the world.